In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a newsletter. To start, hover over the emails and underneath you have newsletter and campaigns. The difference between newsletter and campaigns is that for newsletter is one-time email blast or forecast, whereas campaign is sending emails in sequence. This one is more of manual, whereby this one is like automatic, you've set it up already and it's gonna be going like each and every day or depending on the days you've set up to go. In my previous video, I show you how to do this let's work on newsletter click on newsletter as you can tell i have nothing right here and in your case it might be like that as well click on create you have your subject which will be your email subject the sender name the email address that you're going to use please make sure you connect your professional domain and connect email address because that's the only way you can do this but i believe you've done that already this is my subject new and i'm letting my prospect know that this is new and this is my subject in this case you have the visual editor or the classic editor but i'll go with the classic editor because i like that one better and i'll click save all right i'll copy and paste my message i'll advise you to do that because that's the best way it makes it easier for you and it's faster Control c or right click copy then go back click here right click you can do Control v i'm gonna use substitute variables which is this one i'll just highlight this and delete it and i'll click here and i'll add first name this makes it more personal when you do it like this i forgot to show you this you see how everything starts with caps this is not good because to google they read this differently i'll make it small caps like beginning from here business blueprint making money with and only this i'll keep like this and this one even this one i can change it to small all right because when you do it like this it doesn't look spammy to the google algorithm or machine or whatever next and don't try to use these images too much as well once in a while right and the way you do this i'll show you another one let's say if i want to add smiley emoji i'll just click here so yeah click here click emoji now you can choose whatever you want say let's say i want smiling face i'll just add stuff like that that's how you add image now as you can tell right here it doesn't look nice there's too much space i'll close the gap because you're doing everything to avoid like spam looking emails yeah and i'm gonna highlight this and i'll click link all right i'll put my affiliate link or whatever link you want your people to go to which is a custom link and i'll drop my link then save and when it's saved properly you can see the underline and i'll change this click i'll change the color click on this menu and the font color and i'll change it to red and also i will highlight again and i'll make it bold oh, actually this is it let's see if i can change the font on side make it big yeah all right this is good this is how i'm gonna craft my email and i'll add just one link you can add as much as you want i don't think it's good to add a lot because let's say if i add it here that means my prospect cannot read this and they will not get the understanding of the email so i'll leave it like that and you can attach image but i will advise you not to it's like a thumbnail but i don't want to do that because it makes your email looks a bit spammy as you can tell this is the sender name and this is uh, here i'll add blockstorm yes you can mix changes blockstorm and page i'll keep it like this because my followers know the blockstorm but i'm trying to establish success page in future everything will change to that but for now this is how i have to keep it the email crafting is done we have to select tag which group of people do you want to send this email to click on uh, include these tags click on it and i want to send it to this group of people the online business group is selected and you can select a whole bunch but i'll select this for now then click it. the tag is selected once you click outside then it's gonna pop up and if you want to exclude any tag you're gonna click right here so in this case this will not apply to me excluding tags because so i'm just sending it to this group of people then i'll go up you can save and schedule or you can save and send if you want to save and send you click on here so let me show you quick and you're gonna have to schedule it when you click on schedule let's say i want to send it today but at let's say 12 p.m then i'll click here but i don't want to do that then after clicking 12 then you click apply or you can go tomorrow which is 27 choose the time let's say 11 45 then you see it shade it's ticked then you click on apply but i don't want to do any of that i want to blast it right away i'll close it and s out and i'll click save and send confirm changes saved newsletter sent successfully this newsletter was already sent and can't be edited duplicate it to edit the content it's sent already everything is good to 
go. Let's go back to newsletter. As you can tell, this I sent to 15 people on the list. Later on, it's gonna show me the open rate, the click rate, and stuff like that. This is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.